Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, um, someone actually requested another BTS drawing tutorial on a different member. So I hopefully, you know, eventually will one day do all of them, but you know, video by video, um, it will get there of course. But for this one, I thought we would do V, otherwise known as Taehyung, uh, Kim Taehyung. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, someone requested this and I thought I would kind of, in a way, give them a small little shout out if that makes any sense. Um, nothing too major, but this is the person that recommended. I think it's Sangi Mao Sangit. I don't know how to say that. But yeah, they are the ones that wanted to see this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Of course, real quick before we start the actual tutorial. I wanted to mention that I do have a Patreon account. You guys can donate, um, don't know what that is, sorry about that. You can donate anywhere from $2 a month to $50. The more you guys give me every month, the more you guys receive as a benefit. So for this one, all you, um, for this one it's $2 a month and what you would be getting is early access to all of my artwork and my comics and stuff. And then this one, is the same thing except you get all of that including early access and you know access in general to my NSFW and this one is all of that including a headshot commission of yourself when you first sign up and this one is all of that including um, a YouTube shout out I will also make a post about it on my YouTube and whatnot and this one is all of that including becoming a side character or you know if you have an OC I can even put them in the background or something or make them like a little um, side character or I can draw you in my webtoon. So this will be linked down in the description and pinned at the very top of the comments. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. I'm constantly active in posting here and I do have my $10 commissions open. I actually lowered it um, because of everything that's going on and because I'm still new at this. So please. Um, consider checking me out here. This is some of my example of my commissions. And yeah, everything is linked down in the description and pinned at the very top of the comments. I try to make those intros short, but they never are, so I definitely do apologize. So let's start with the video. So they did request for it to be anime style, and that's going to be what I aim for. Hopefully it looks okay. Um, I know the lighting isn't the best. I don't have any proper lighting, so I'm using just my room light. Hopefully you can see. But we're going to start with a line like that, and it's going to come down at a you know slight angle like that. Now he will have his hand over his face, so if you want to, you can kind of lightly sketch that in. I guess I will right now because why not? Something like that. And then we're going to finish it with his chin on his hand. I think you guys know what photo we're drawing. Okay, but yeah, you're basically gonna come up like that. And I always like to end it with the ear right here, although you're not gonna see the whole thing because it is covered up by his hair. And we're not gonna worry um, too much about the detail right now. You're also gonna see some of his other ear over here. Okay, and now let's just start with his face. So I usually like to start with the nose recently, I guess because it kind of gets the whole face into place. Face, place, sorry that rhymed. But yeah, I'm going to make a basic line like that, although again it does slightly curve. And then you're going to, once you get down here, you're going to bring it like that. So just a slight angle and a point. And if you want to, this is optional, but you can give him a little nostril. Sometimes anime doesn't do that, but that is completely up to you. Okay, but once you get that done, I'm actually going to lead this nose up into this eyebrow. And for this, um, he is kind of making like a little face, like he's raising one eyebrow. So this one is the one that's pointing down, and it kind of, like I said, leads up into the nose. And once you get that shape in, you can basically go in and um, darken it and shade it. We all know his eyebrows, no one loved them. Alright, and I'm going to start with his eyes next. So I'm going to make a very slightly curved line. Like, it's mostly flat. It's not too, like, you know, 
up there and I'm gonna make a shape like that it's not the best but um, if I need to I will definitely refine it but you, like I said you want to make a shape like that you want to point it and then kind of curve up and then back out and the iris is of course right here and that's just basically half a circle and then um, you're gonna make a little circle right here for a highlight and then his pupil will be right here nothing too fancy give him some eyelids or you know just an eyelid not more than one and then basically from there I'm gonna just darken a few things and refine a few things okay so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put this eye into place so I'm gonna start with the same thing just the top of it and I'm gonna try to get it to look similar and I did mention this little hack if you will or a little trick in one of my other videos but if you are new to my channel um, the way you can definitely make sure that these are even or the whole face you know makes it look like it makes sense is to take your paper and put it up towards like sunlight or you know just a light source and from there it will basically show you the image reversed like it's flipped because I'm so used to digital um, and I've always done this in general but like you know you can't really flip this canvas of course so yeah I would definitely recommend trying that little hack definitely will help and make sure that everything is even Okay, so for the most part, that is what we should have so far. I basically just did what I did over here and finished it. And now I'm going to put in his other eyebrow, which is lifting a little bit more up. Like I said before, he's making like a face. So I'm going to make a shape like that. And I'm probably going to fix that actually, or change it. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and shade it. If I were you guys, I would actually arc that a little bit more up. I didn't really get that, you know, to the best of my ability. Um, probably gonna change that a little bit. But yeah, he is arcing or arching um, his eyebrow up. And then I'm gonna come in with his lips next, his mouth. He's kind of smirking, but just barely. And of course, since the, um, this is anime, you don't have to worry too much about the lip detail. But hopefully you guys can see this. And that is the face so far. Probably gonna make a few changes and then I'll be back to describe the hand and the hair. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start with his hand next. So from this little shape that we made before, I'm gonna come down at this Part and basically just darken it and I'm going to come out with one of his fingers and all you have to do is make a shape like that and then from there you're just going to basically keep doing that but you're going to overlap it with a different finger each time so kind of like that and if you have any space I would recommend like making a little line like that or maybe it should be like this actually something like that and the pinky will be right here and I know that's definitely not the best hand you've seen <laughs> yeah again I probably have to change that only because that looks like a potato but for right now it's not the worst so I'm gonna put in his rings he does have a lot um, on the ring finger we do have one that's pretty large. It's like a square-ish shape. And the rest will just be tiny ones, kind of like that. Okay. And then of course, um, his sleeve will come over and we're gonna worry about that part later. We can't just leave his head unfinished. <laughs> Let's start with his hair. So from about the nose, we're gonna start and make a line up here because it does split down the middle and I'm just gonna put some wavy looking bangs into place 
I've already done a tutorial on how to draw hair, so if you do need help on that, I will try to link it down in the description if I remember. If not, you can definitely see it on my channel. But I am not the best at explaining hair, if I'm going to be honest with you. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing by watching. So yeah, as you guys follow along, hopefully, um, I thought I would ask you if anyone's still watching at this point, who is your favorite member or, you know, your bias? I think you guys already know this, but my favorite is Jungkook for sure. Love that guy. But again, I love them all equally. I never was one to pick favorites, but like I said, if I had to choose, it would definitely be JK. Speaking of him, I already made a tutorial on him, but it was not the best, so I'm thinking about making an updated version. Sorry, an updated version. I know that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because I just made it, but I was a much newer fan. I'm still a new fan, like don't get me wrong, but even though it's been a few months, I've already learned so much and that tutorial was definitely not my best. Okay, well I try to get everything else into place. Hopefully you guys can like pause the video and try to like look off it and catch up or do whatever you guys need to do. But I, again, I'm not really the best at explaining here, so I thought I'd kind of speed up the process. But a little, I guess, tip, um, since this hair does overlap this part of the eyebrow, what I did is I erased it and then I lightly drew over it again, so it kind of gives it that see-through look. I know it's kind of goofy of me to like even mention that, but that, you know, is optional. So let us continue. I'm actually going to put um, an earring in, and it's kind of like an oval shape, but it has like kind of some edges, nothing too um, fancy or special. Just something like that. And then you're going to see a little bit of his hair behind here. Only just a little bit. And then that's where his neck will come in. You're going to bring it down like that. And it's going to lead all the way up into his hand. And then that's where his clothes will come in. Which we will worry about in just a moment. Now let's continue that hand. So I'm going to make a lot of bumps and wrinkles. Um, let's see. The photo that I'm looking off of, it does something like that. Hopefully I'm seeing that right. Yeah, I think I am. So I'm basically just being free with my pencil. I'm not really like pressing down too hard and focusing. I'm just, I like to use the word winging it because it describes it so accurately. But again, if you definitely um, do struggle with like clothing, let me know if you want to see a tutorial on that because I don't think I've done that before. Um, but yeah, that's what I have so far. You can barely tell because it's um, just a whole bunch of sketch marks. So do not worry, I will refine all of it and it will pop out more. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue the rest of his body. And about over here where this hand starts, you're going to see the other shoulder, but you're not going to see the whole thing. Um, but because, you know, why not? I'm probably just going to show the entire uh, shoulder. Well, um, I did finish everything that needed to be finished. Um, I got everything done that, you know, I was going to um, include. I do apologize that even so, after I you know, darken a few things. You can still barely see it. It's just because of the quality of the camera. But yeah, that, you know, does wrap it up for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can clearly tell, um, I am much better at digital. And I don't know if that's a bad thing, but yeah, I'm not the best at traditional anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any other BTS members. Um, if you do, let me know which one and I will definitely look into it. And I really hope you guys enjoy this drawing tutorial. I will be back with another one here very soon. Also, let me know if you want to see a colored version of this and all the others. And yeah, um, I will be back with another video here very soon.